are in a partnership with Kia right now. Um, this is my restaurant, Abacus Restaurant. I'm the owner and chef. We've had it open now for 15 years. It's a very high-end restaurant. We're very proud of it. But we're also proud of being partners with people like Kia and what they're trying to do with their new fantastic car, which I got to tell you, I've gone through the restaurant, talked to several of the people that have driven already, and everybody loves it. Haven't heard one single thing negative, and I can't wait to go drive. So this is what I'm getting ready to do. This is my second time of doing this event with Kia. It's a great time. They come, they check in inside, they have a mocktail, and then uh, when it's their turn, they get to drive, and when they're done driving, they come in and have a fabulous meal at Abacus. It's been a great evening. They get their picture taken. It's pretty cool. How was it? It was, it great. was great. I actually enjoyed it. It, it uh, definitely beats out a lot of models that I've driven before and a lot of different car companies that produce uh, similar type models, but this one by far, it beats out a lot of them. What did you think when they said it was going to be a Kia? <laughs> I thought a Kia, wow, it can't be that great. But this is definitely luxury, and I really like it. And I, I really would vouch for it and say, hey, get you a Kia. My for sure opinion of the Kia car before last year's event was different than it is now. And I, I have no doubt that this next drive will, will change it even more. I think that goes to show that companies can change their direction and they can change their focus and they can become more than what they were. And I think this is happening with Kia. And I think that the main thing for people is just to give it a shot. Don't think about it as being a Kia car. Go check it out and I think you'll be surprised at where they've come with their quality and what they're trying to do with their luxury cars. I enjoyed the ride. It was nice and smooth, very quiet. I am a Benz owner and my Benz, you know, it's just not as smooth as this, as this car. It was more of a luxury car than an economy slash middle of the road vehicle. It's nice. It's a lot more spacious than I thought. This is bigger, obviously, than my car, but I don't have all the features that this one has, but it's okay. I like the cameras and the uh, blind spot cameras. I was in the back and I, I thought it was great. I didn't expect the Kia to be that large. Oh, it's good. Comfortable, spacious, and yeah, luxurious. I like the interior. Um, it's, it's, a classy, it's a classy little car. Put some Curtis Mayfield on. Uh -oh. Get a feel for what the sound system can do. Sixty-six thousand for this one. Fully loaded. Fully loaded. Okay. And how much are we doing for the standard? Fifty-nine five. It was smooth, um, like a baby's bottom. <laughs> Drive was rather smooth than what I thought. They added a lot of features. I wouldn't expect that from Kia as well. You heard that beepers because they've got sensors in the front. It's a long car. So you need to have sensors in case you get a little too close to it. How long is the car? I ain't a Maybach 5762 is. <laughs> it's close to a Maybach length. Okay. Not quite, but it's close. It's the length of a 7 Series, okay. S Class, right. A8, LS 460. Good job. I, I didn't expect that from Kia, not tonight. The drive was great, man. It was smooth. I, the leather interior was great. Everything was smooth. It was really, really smooth. It was nice, and I really enjoyed the um, ability to do the different features that normally aren't in the back seat. In the back seat, I was able to recline my seat and push it forward and control pretty much everything that he could control. So that was awesome. Should have been here tonight at Abacus because they could drive this cool car and then come in for a great meal. But for sure, they can come here anytime. But they got to get out and check out the car.